The controversial business in Etowah will now be allowed to open. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. Tonight, the city voted to allow a distillery to open in the city's downtown. Brittany Nicholson joins us now to tell us more. Brittany. Josh, last year, the city said they would not allow the business to manufacture alcohol in the city limits. The owner then filed a lawsuit. Although they will now be able to operate the business, the owner tells me he will still sue. It was a big moment for Kevin and Amy Carruthers. After years of hard work, they will finally get a license to operate. This is our passion. This is who we are. So we couldn't stop. We're too far upside down. We're too, we're too vested into this to walk away from it. Kevin says last year that dream of opening up a business in their hometown became a reality. We started renovations on the building in the end of August. And then in October, uh, they called a special meeting to basically to try to stop us. They didn't want the distillery in town. He says the city told him he would be responsible for deaths and DUIs. They started a big uproar, um, actually scared off some investors that we had. They, they run some of them out and we just pretty much put everything on hold, knowing that we had done everything by the letter of the law. They then filed a lawsuit. The city looked back at state guidelines and Friday night voted to comply with the Carruthers request. I think it'd be good for the city of Etowah. Mayor Burke Garwood says passing this resolution wasn't what everyone in town wanted. What's happening is a change that these people that uh, they're slow to change. But, you know, that's just what happens. The world changes. Some of us are dragging our feet and, and you know, we've got to leave marks behind us as they drag us into the 21st century. Garwood says they will still have to settle the lawsuit with the Carruthers. I think he's a pretty amicable fella and he has indicated all along that he has that he's not here to hurt the city at all. The Carruthers say they've lost time and money while waiting on the city to sort this out, so they will still ask for a little money from the city. They say they don't have a dollar amount just yet. Josh. Brittany, thank you. The Carruthers say they hope to open the business by midsummer of this year.